Okay, so, you know, a, a little while back, uh, that this was one we didn't actually speak much about, uh, to be honest with you. You know, this was a, a little bit of an outlier. But the, the idea here is to have uh, uh, people transacting, uh, banks and firms transacting uh, across borders using a synthetic uh, or universal currency of some kind, right, some kind of blended currency. Of course, I, I, I say that it wasn't spoken about much until recently because uh, uh, Governor Carney made some uh, very interesting remarks. Um, I think, I don't know how many of you actually saw these. Uh, I thought they, they were quite fascinating, actually. Um, just, uh, just a few weeks ago, proposing basically this, right? So, and I, I suspect there's no accident that, uh, that this work was done uh, end of last year, but of course he went he went much further, and, and uh, also, if there's a third piece of reading I can encourage you to do, is actually read that speech. It's, it's, it's quite long, but, but really quite, quite fascinating. Um, where, well, he is uh, talking about, uh, you know, the, 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 the replacement of the U.S. dollar uh, in, in international trade because of the sort of imbalances that creates, given, given the... The, the shifts in, in, the, in the global economy, and, and, re, and rather replacing it over a long period of time, he did stress that, over a long period of time, uh, replacing it with some kind of what he called a, a synthetic hegemonic currency, uh, SCH. I think that's gonna go down in history, right? Synthetic hegemonic currency. Um, and uh, so, so the idea here is that there is a, a new exchange uh, in fact, essentially an issuer, so presumably some kind of multilateral organization of some kind, um, that central banks uh, are able uh, to, where essentially they're able to buy uh, this universal CBDC for their own local currencies. Now, like I said, no deep analysis of done, has been done of this, but straight away you can see that there's a effects risk uh, here because, you know, if, uh, you know, if central bank A uh, buys using its local currency, uh, buys some of that blended uh, currency, well, you know, over a couple of days, those rates shift and so on. So there's questions about how to manage that risk. Anyway, re regardless of that, the, the idea then is that uh, if a, a bank A can essentially buy from the, 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 via the central bank, I should say, this universal settlement currency, and use that for all its cross-border transactions, right? Things become, at that level, very, very simple, right? Where, uh, again, you have to have this transaction across different ledgers, but essentially, you have a, a, a one single claim uh, that can be uh, transacted uh, across uh, different, uh, different ledgers. Okay, so those were the uh, the, the three models, as I say, highlighted in, 